A mature loggerhead sea turtle brought back to life at the Archelon Rescue Center in Greece. A victim, as are so many of his kind, of man's addiction to plastics. The public are allowed in to watch their recovery in the hope that some small message will get out there. That what's killing these and so many other creatures in our seas is what we casually discard. The director of the centre holds a jar that carries what he found in the stomach of just one loggerhead. Now on the oceans and on our seas, we, we live with, a, like we said, the plastic soup. Archelon keep a gallery of items retrieved from the stomachs of turtles. Some survived, many didn't. But these are plastics that you can see. On the island of Samos, they're working on those that are invisible to the naked eye, filtering and analyzing the stomach contents of these sea bream in search of microplastics. How likely is it you'll find microplastics in any given fish? Um, every fish that I've so far done has had, like, heaps, so pretty much guaranteed. Whenever the weather allows, these scientists from the Archipelagos Institute test waters in sites right across the Aegean Sea. Sophisticated filters picking up microplastics to take back for analysis. Perhaps the biggest concern being that these microparticles collect other chemical pollutants, which may then be passed to fish and onto us. In the past, it's been easy to blame the pollution in our rivers and oceans on big corporations who've broken environmental rules. But the reality of what they're finding now in these waters is that we put it there. Maybe we need uh, one other generation that uh, can, uh, can uh, tell us if uh, the problem will be solved or not. They dutifully collect and log the garbage that litters nearby beaches. But the reality is that too much damage has been done already for us to escape the scourge of ocean plastic in any of our lifetimes. James Mates, ITV News, in the Aegean Sea.